Hi, I'm Alexan, and welcome to our third episode of Cooking with Alexan in our three-part series about the foodscape in South Louisiana. For this episode, we're going to be making banh mi and talking about Vietnamese migration to South Louisiana. For the marinade, you will need two tablespoons of fish sauce, a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper, three minced um, cloves of garlic, and about three tablespoons of cooking oil. And then I'm gonna put a half a pound of chicken in here. So you will need a French baguette, fresh cucumbers, fresh cilantro, and fresh jalapenos, chicken that we've marinated ahead of time, pickled daikon and carrots, mayo, and pork liver pate. So I'm gonna cut off part of this baguette because I'm not gonna eat a whole sandwich. That's a self little baguette. So we're going to make a cut here. And open that up. And put some mayo on one side. And then we're going to put a little bit of pate on the other side. This is pork liver pate. Just a little bit. And now we just assemble. We're going to put some pickled vegetables. and some chicken. And some really thinly sliced cucumber. Yes. And some fresh cilantro. And that's it. I'm gonna cut this in half and eat it. So the story of the banh mi starts earlier than Vietnamese migration to the United States. When France was in control of Vietnam from 1887 to 1954, the French disallowed the Vietnamese people from eating bread because wheat was not able to be grown there in Vietnam. After the French left Vietnam, European goods were able to be acquired by the people of Saigon, also known as Ho Chi Minh City. From this, the banh mi was born with its defiant usage of French bread, usually a short baguette. Today, Vietnamese people make up one of the largest populations of foreign-born residents in the United States. The Migration Policy Institute has this to say. The arrival of 125,000 Vietnamese refugees to the United States in 1975 was among the most dramatic evacuations undertaken by the U.S. government matched only recently by the chaotic flights from Afghanistan following the U.S. military's withdrawal. The initial group of Vietnamese immigrants was followed by more refugees and their families, and the Vietnamese foreign-born population in the United States roughly doubled every decade between 1980 and 2000. Refugees from the Vietnam War came to the United States were mostly from southern Vietnam during Gerald Ford's presidency. The United States had allied with South Vietnam during the war. Cross section. That is really yummy. 